no clue if you can hear me now I hope so because it is kind of windy today but hey guys I wanted to give you an update I got the first blood results back and um, they all came back fine I will link the words what they tested down here because I don't know the word but it came back all nice I don't have any issues with my blood meaning I don't need to use heparin at all which I'm so excited about because it's I was just so worried that I would have to use that for my pregnancy but I do not so tomorrow we have our first appointment at the fertility clinic and we will talk about all the blood results that they got um, about the sperm count and everything so we'll see how that goes and I will of course take you along again tomorrow as you can hear I still have a cold um, that I'm trying to get over but yeah, I'm excited what comes out tomorrow and yeah. So we are on our way to the fertility clinic to talk about our blood results and the sperm count and everything. So we're excited to see what comes out of it. just got done at the fertility clinic um, so first on my part um, my iron levels are really really low I'm close to being anemic again um, she said I have too much of vitamin C which is bad because that like helps the body to reject the embryos so I need to reduce that so I need to take different supplements to help that and get more vitamin D or something like that so my blood is kind of like showing that I'm having the like some levels are too high some levels are too low and we just need to like find supplements that work with that and the ones that I'm taking right now actually do the opposite so that's kind of sucks so I need to take different ones um, and tomorrow she already told me that they found some stuff um, um, at the doctors that I'm going to tomorrow and he will have to like so much stuff that he needs to explain to me and tell me and things that I need to change so now I'm kind of worried about the appointment tomorrow and about um, the sperm count so the amount of sperms is great but they're kind of slow and the quality is semi okay so half of them are fine the other half are or the other ones are okay and there's just a few like a little number that is pretty bad so she said as long, as long as we are young everything's fine but when we're trying to get pregnant later on that will become an issue but since we're trying now we should be on the good side so he needs to take some vitamins that hopefully help with the sperm count um and i need to take different supplements so we'll see what comes out tomorrow we just need to let that sink in i guess in all that excitement yesterday i forgot to mention she also said that Marco and I both don't have any STDs, which is great. And um, that our hormones on his side look perfect and on my side also. So my thyroids are fine and everything's fine. My hormones are great. So we just have to talk about the vitamin intake. And I tried to Google it and like you can find iron deficiencies or vitamin C deficiencies. And if you have that, like iron, you take iron, you are supposed to take vitamin C, but I have too much vitamin C, so I'm like a really special case, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am about to head out to my last appointment today, and we'll see how what that doctor has to say. I'm looking forward to making lots of notes and hopefully doing the right thing. I just take took my first iron supplement because I have to take it one hour before I eat breakfast and I felt so sick I was just I just finished eating breakfast like after every spoon of oatmeal I felt like I had to throw up it was awful like I don't know if I can do that especially if I do get pregnant and I last time I did get morning sickness so that would be awful so I just have to find a way to 
I don't know, when Marco gets up for work, I have to take it quickly, go back to bed so I don't feel it for an hour or something. I don't know. I just have to come up with something because that is not working. Like she told me, get up, take the supplement, wait for an hour, eat then breakfast and like, no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I just finished up with the doctors and um, he also said that my iron levels are really low so I need to continue taking iron supplements. Um, my vitamin D is low too but that has to do with the weather outside right now because we don't have enough sun and stuff and he's like that's normal for every human being here living in Germany so um, no big deal there that will change once the sun comes out more. and. <clears throat> The vitamin C is high and he said that can be a problem, but I should just try to take supplement that doesn't have vitamin C in it so I don't take too much of it. And also my omega-3 levels are way too low and that could be causing um, my immune system to reject the embryo. And to monitor that, every like next time I do get pregnant, I have to call them immediately and get specific blood results done every other day or something and they can check whether or not the body starts to reject it and then we can start getting some injections that will stop the body from rejecting the baby and uh, kind of complicated but we have to see um, after we switch the supplements how my body is dealing with that and if we do need to continue taking um, the injections or not but for now we will just take switch up all the supplements and go from there and see if the next cycle worked or not and yeah go from there